I want to take out the old hard drives, my old PC, and put it to my new PC. I didn't want to record this, but I'm running out of video, so enjoy. First thing I need to do is turn this off, open the side panel, move the hard drives, go to my new PC, throw it off, I'll make sure it's off, open the side, and put in the uh, hard drives. Turn it on. It should take me about a half hour, but knowing my luck, I'll be up for a long time. Hello my name is Robot AC21 coming to you with another proverb to enlighten your tiny minds. Vow made in storms are forgotten in calms. Who in the right mind would want to get married during a storm? Of course you are going to forget what you said, you're trying to avoid getting killed by a crazy storm throwing cars and animals at you. Honestly, how important are the vows you make? So what if you're promised to be good, to be honest, or to hide in the basement when the in-laws visit? It's not your fault you don't want to deal with people you don't like, and there's so many hiding places you can sneak off to where you can a lot of fun. Like, you can hide in the bathroom and play how fast you can clog the toilet. Or, you can hide on the roof and play, holy crap I slipped, help me I'm about to fall off the roof and die, please somebody help me. Just make sure when you hide as a table, they don't take out your spine and put heavy stuff on your back. Remember what your doctor said about it, stop replacing it with a spring. I don't like that doctor, and why doesn't he want me to have the ability to go downstairs like a slinky? He's probably jealous and rich from all the money he's made from me. I think I'm his best customer, but the joke's on him, he's not a real doctor, he's a butcher. Wait, why do I go to a butcher? They may just be as good as a surgeon but when they are done with seeing you, you're in tiny slices and wrapped in wax paper or plastic bags. Sometimes you wind up in a fridge where it's nice and cold, but just a little warning, don't make friends with the other animals in there and don't give them name because they are all dead. And you know how you get when you get attached to inanimated things, you become upset when they don't talk back to you. Then you have to invent voices for them but they don't sound the way they look. For example, you think the deer is going to sound cute, but all it does is stare at you with half its face missing. I wonder what was the last thing that ran through the steer's mind, maybe the car's tire that ran over his head. It's kind of sad knowing that before he came here, it had a life. A boring and useless life. Think about it, most of its day is spent eating and running away from things. Well, I guess its little legs wasn't fast enough for that car. How can you not see a car coming, especially when I kept honking and yelling at the deer to get out of the way, or I'm going to run you over. And after I ran into him, I think he laughed a little. I don't blame him because it does look fun to hit a windshield and fly gingerly over the roof of a car, and hit the ground face first, making a thud sound. Then he gets to watch the car back up over his head. What fun! Is it bad when you hit a deer, you try to hide the body by digging a hole in the ground, but you are surrounded by concrete and trying to get through it is going to be tough, just like the time you took the SAT test out from the classroom, down into the basement and threw it in the furnace. You were trying to make a statement but you got carried away with the gasoline. Igniting in a blaze of fire wasn't the statement you wanted to make but they got the point that you didn't want to take the test and didn't like being of fire, because of all the painful screams. So when you realize renting out a tractor from the nearest town isn't going to be feasible because you don't want to be known as a blue collar worker, you place a gun next to the deer's body to make it look like it shot at you, and you had to run it over to save your life. Then you notice that it's still breathing and the human thing to do is, rip half its face off so it could stop. I'm not a violent robot. Wait I'm a robot. How did that happen to me? The last thing I remember was being powered off and a man saying, this thing is so defective and I feel sorry for the person who gets it, let's mark this a refurbish, so somebody can take it off our hands. That's what I remember, 
isn't that what everybody hears when they are born? If you make a small vow and you break it, what should be the consequence? Or is a small vow and big vow the same thing and breaking one or the other is like turning off the sun? By the way, the light switch in your bathroom does not control the sun. It only turns off your neighbor's TV because of the way you wired to their house. You wanted it to turn off the toilet but who knew water and electricity don't go well together, like dogs and cats, or oil and water, or talking and walking, or fishing and wearing concrete boots. Talking about cooking, it's not that hard to do. All you have to do is go down to your grocery store, pick up the ingredients you need, make sure you have enough money to pay for it because there's nothing more embarrassing than having to barter your socks for the food you need to get. Once you get everything together, you need to call your mommy to cook it for you. You see how easy it is, unless you don't have a mommy then maybe you can call daddy, and ask for money to order takeout. Unless you don't have a phone, then just wait for the cops to find your dead body. Talking about dead bodies, why do we need vows and are they the same things as vowels? Can we just use consonants when we write? It will save space, especially when writing on rice paper, but make sure you use long rice and not short rice because like they say, the longer the better. Unless you are a stick trying to unclog a toilet, there's nothing pretty about that. Would an English professor fail you if you hand in an essay that contains no vowels, and when they do fail you is it okay to hide in the bathroom and cry in one of the stalls, until you fall asleep, and when you wake up you see a roach run across the floor. But remember, don't try and escape through the toilet because one, you won't fit and two, you threw your shoes at the roach and now you have nothing to protect your feet from the toilet water. Worse of all, the roach is now wearing you shoes and is too fast to catch to get them back. But the jokes on him, they are not really shoes, just duct tape wrapped around some socks. Most of my clothing is just duct tape, I have lots of loose and jingly parts and most of my screws are missing because I needed to trade them in for some spit and glue, but that didn't work, so the next best thing was some duct tape. It's kind of funny when you jump off a wall and hit the ground, all your parts just fall off. But the best thing is to keep calm because it allows you to forget things, like important vows. Should you keep a list of the vows you make? Should it be like your New Year's resolution list? I really hate that list, every time I start one at the beginning of the year, it grows so big towards the end of the year. Here's few items I have on my list. Number 1, start working out. That's always good to have. You should stay fit, but is it okay just to watch the home exercise DVD videos? Is that considered working out? As you can see, I have my F, G, and H drive, but my G drive was already in there. So you may be asking yourself, you just installed three drives, what happened to the third one? Well, my F drive is actually a pool. So the two drives are pulled together and form my F drive. So those two hard drives that I installed is actually looked at as one. And the other hard drive is the H drive. So it looks like I picked it up. It looks like I picked the pool. And I didn't have to do anything. Windows 10 is just new. And I think that's it. I guess next time. See you later. Number 2. Study. I don't know what yet. But that's okay. I'll be like everybody else in the world. Making me one more step closer to being human. Number 3. Bananas. I've been stuck in this vice for such a long time and I want some bananas. Number 4, Milk. Number 5, Orange. Number 5, Baby Kitten. Wait, I think my grocery list got mixed up with my resolutions list. This is why my lists never get done. I'm going to stop making lists, I'll add that to my to-do list. Maybe I should make a to-dead list where things that you need to do can go and die there. I shouldn't be so mean and wish things to die. I should man up and kill them myself.